Hello there, loves. So I caught a bit of a cold this week, and I realized that we so often use this phrase when we get sick or catch a cold that I'm fighting off a cold. And this phrase was coming into my mental dialogue um, quite a bit this week, just as a just a conditioned response, a conditioned phrase that, that shows up. And you may be thinking, what's the big deal? It's so common to use that phrase when we have a cold, that I'm fighting off a cold or I'm fighting off this illness. But what was coming to me almost as like an immediate response to that phrase, whenever that phrase would come up in my mind, my immediate response to that was, no, I choose not to fight this cold. I choose to honor my body this week. That this cold is coming up for me as a signal to honor my body, to slow down, <laughs> to rest, to cleanse, and to really just take some time to tune in a little bit more. And so often when things come up in our life, whether it's a cold or any other sort of <clears throat> what may seem as a challenge or obstacle, you know, we have two ways to look at it. You know, we can look at it as a fight. And if we look at it as a fight, that automatically brings this concept, this feeling of separation in us. It can automatically bring up this idea of this is something separate that is happening to me that I need to fight, that, and it becomes a battle. Um, as opposed to looking at it as this is something happening for me, and what can I learn from it? What is this experience trying to show me? What is this experience trying to lead me towards? Is it greater awareness, greater self-care? Is it teaching me to tune into my body even more in this moment? And when we do that, that simple shift in perspective, which starts with awareness, and then the next step is that it starts with shifting the words that we use. You know, there's this really famous quote that watch your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, watch your words, words become actions, watch your actions, actions become habits, watch your habits, habits become character. So it starts with our thoughts and the language that we use in our thoughts. So this week, among other practices that I've been engaging in to nourish my body and allow my body to heal. I have been working with this phrase and the language that I've been using in my own mental dialogue. And anytime that phrase would come up, oh, I'm fighting a cold this week, I would immediately replace it with a phrase of, I'm honoring my body and listening to my body's signal this week. So I'm going to get back to sipping on some warm tea and allowing my body to heal. Um, I just wanted to send you this brief message in this week's blog. And as always, I'm sending you so much love today and always.